What's up, guys? This is the Austin Red Show here doing another episode of My Morphin Collection. I believe this is episode five or six, somewhere around there. But anyways, um, as you can see, we have here um, the what is known as like the Ninja Zord or the Zord you know um, or recognize from uh, the Power Rangers, the movie and stuff like that. And so um, first off, this is probably my absolute most favorite Zord out of all of them. And of course, if you pay any attention to the um, Pokemon, or Pokemon, why am I saying Pokemon? I meant Power Rangers. Um, if you pay any attention to the Power Ranger, uh, or any Power Ranger stuff in general, especially toys, you'll know um, here like next month or month or two, something like that very soon, there's going to be a legacy version of this. And so with that being said, this is the original um, 94, 95, I can't remember exactly, I think. The movie came out in 95, so it's probably 95 um, version, and so it's all uh, cheap, what well, I call cheap plastic and stuff, but it's, it's actually held up pretty well, and it's, um, as I said, my favorite Zord, so um, we'll go ahead and get into it. So as you can see, this is its full mode and stuff, as you'd recognize it from the movie. Now, if you bought this toy back in 95 or whenever, you would, unless you got the special version, you would not have the Falcon in it. I was lucky enough to be able to get it with the Falcon. Go ahead and take this, these swords away. Um, I was lucky enough to get it, so this would be what you get. And this is what the Legacy version is going to be. It's just this right here. And so, since this is the original Falcon, they've already released the new Legacy version. So this is it in metal. Um, looks about the same, as you can see. Um, original, new. Of course, this one has a lot of shiny stuff and everything. Um, but the only real true difference between the two is that um the old ones wings don't bend in half like this one does to do that um they're just the straight part but they still both do the whole like bend um in thing like that just like i said just this one doesn't do the half thing um but that's really the only difference and then as you can see um all the sticker or I guess it's not really a sticker because on this one this is all metal, there's no stickers, everything's like solid stuff. Well this one, the original one, has stickers on it, which I placed on there, again using the Repro labels, which I mentioned in a past video. And I'll, if I remember, I'll put the link again down below. And so as you can see, like design-wise, how similar they are. So before this one, um, I think on the top here it had most of it. It's hard to see, but as you can see on the wings there, it's got the like little gold stuff in between, which were, of course, all hard to place down. Um, stuff on the head, the side of the face, and then the bottom chest down here and stuff. And again, with the wings, there's the gold on it and stuff. A lot of this wasn't on there before, um, like in all these white spots and stuff. There wasn't anything, and now there is. And as you can see, it matches the new one pretty much exactly. Obviously, the center stuff is very different and everything. And then under the head is different. Um, but that's just the overall design. This one, as you can see, is probably a bit thicker, um, it looks like and stuff. But we'll go, of course, just stick with the original. So with the Falcon Zord to start out with, this is all we got. Just the Falcon Zord. The only different thing it does is its feet come down. And then you, you know, can move it, open its mouth and stuff, bend the wings in. So when he does his move where he flies in and shoots at um, uh, Ivan uses uh, Exo more or Exo Zord things. I can't even remember what they're called now. Um, but he comes in like shoots at him and stuff like that. But that's really all the Falcon does. Like he doesn't do do any other transformation, just opening his wings and stuff. So we'll go ahead and probably sit him over here so he's out of the way and stuff. Um, so now we have this, and of course we'll just go ahead and uh, take each part off and uh, switch it into its actual mode which is Zord is real easy which is one reason I like it but yet it looks really cool as well and then of course the Power Ranger movie is one of my favorite things like ever in existence of Power Rangers and so uh having the Zord from it is really cool and stuff too so we'll start here with the crane or uh Kimberly Zord and as you see it does the head for the Zord so for this all you do is like fold out the wings on the side here and then pull the head down and flatten it and so now it's the crane as she flies around in the movie and as you can see with the stickers on here it would probably be different than anything you saw um with the original zord if you had it um because again it has the sticker so it of course has the new head thing and stuff and once the legacy version does come out i'll go ahead and do another video on that even though it'll just be exactly the same as this 
Um, but just so you'll see the new one and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all it is. It's just that. And so go ahead and sit hers or down. And yeah, compared to all the others, um, hers is really small and stuff. Um, next we'll go with the wolf or um, Billy's Zord. And so, of course, it has this little head thing on it, which you just pull off. And so that gives it to make like a hand. As you can see, the fingers and then like this is supposed to be the thumb and stuff. But it just gives it like a more robotic looking head. And so there's the actual wolf head. So for this, all you do is fold the legs down. And then the feet out. And then there you have the wolf. And then just fold its tail up and there's the wolf. Of course, you can open its mouth and stuff. And then again, this will look different. Um, it used to just be all gold. It's hard to see with the lighting and stuff. Um, it used to be all gold, but with the repro labels, you put this black ring around, around it and fill in the space and stuff, and I think it looks really cool. Um, with the new repro label stickles, stickers, it made this Zord look so much better and, of course, took off all the cheesy um, like Power Ranger Thunder um, logos that never actually belonged on it and stuff. And so that's one thing I like a lot about the repro labels and stuff. So moving on to what is um, an arm or the red ape. And as you can see, again, it's got the head thing there to make the fist, but you just take that off and it, it reveals the head. And I don't understand why this is an ape because it's like a little samurai guy. Um, but for this, you obviously just took that head thing off and then you just pull its legs down, which is kind of hard to um, do. But you just pull that out and then you flip it over and on the back here has its little chest that folds out, or I guess it's back, not chest. And it folds two arms out, and then you pop that back in, pop the two arms forward, pull them out, and you have this little um, samurai looking guy, or ninja, I guess, since it's the ninja sword. And then, of course, you take these two swords um, that fell off earlier in the video, and you just stick them in his hand. So now he's ready to fight. So I really like that one. Um, I said this is the movie version. Um, I guess that's technically the way I did it. With The only difference is the pink ranger between the two. And so you have the movie version or the show version. Um, and so I think the only difference is that she's pink where in the show it's all red. So it has this red color around the neck and everything. Um, I think that's the difference or it's vice versa where in the movie it's all red and stuff. But I just like the pink because obviously she's pink so I wanted it more have more pink color to it than the red um but one of them does have all red um so next up we have the bear or um aisha zord um and so for this you have just the bear thing so you start off by folding these legs down like that and then you flip it over here it's got a lot of looks like rust stuff on it um but then you'll just take the body and you just pull it apart like that and then it reveals two legs, so you can just kind of flick them. They're just kind of held in there by springs. By squeezing them together, it holds it in. So you just unspring them, and then they pop out like that. And then you have the bear, and it's got its little bit thing and stuff. And so that's all the bears. Oh, as it falls over like I believe it did in the movie. So you have the bear. And then, of course, the last one, which is awesome, is the toad, the black ranger, or Adam in this one. And so first off you do is you just fold the um, head out and it pulls the feet out from the legs there and then um, you fold the legs forward really far the back legs I should say and then you just bend them back all the way like that probably bend them up more and then you just fold the feet forward like that and then you have the frog in the frog mode which is again one of my favorite things and stuff. So it's hard to see with them all over to the side that I happen to be out of the way. So here is all the version that we have there in their animal forms and stuff. And of course now we'll just go back in reverse and put it back together just so you can see how it goes back. So again, first thing you do is you just pull the leg straight out and then fold these feet down. And then you take the frog and may not have it at the right angle. Yeah, it looks like maybe not. But as you're sliding it in, you just pull its feet down and put them into the, um, get them into these slots and then just push it down until it locks. So it kind of like holds its feet down in there. So there you have the legs. Now for the bear, you again, you just squeeze the legs in like this, pull them down in here and you'll have to kind of like hold them 
and stuff and as you are doing it it's hard with this being old and the springs and stuff but then you just push it in as hard as you can till it gets it stuck in there and again just fold the legs forward and then with the clips on the bottom there you just sit it on top of the pegs on the frog like that so there's the body part now we'll go with the arms again so again you'll take the red ape Rocky sword if I didn't say that earlier just throw the swords to the side fold the arms down and close them up open the back hatch here or I guess pull the arms out first then open the back fold them in shut the back and then push the legs up and put them on the arm as its right arm and then of course you can take the little head piece here and pop it on top of the head like that so there we have the right arm on now we'll take the left arm or blue or the wolf or whatever so again for this you fold the front legs up first because they go inside then the back legs if I can get them and then of course the tail in and we'll go ahead and put the glove thing on first so put that on its head and then pop the left arm in like that now time for the head so for this all you do is just push the head up and straighten out the little crane head thing there and it reveals the face of the ninja zord and then close those the wings back and then you just stick the hole there right in the pegs on top of that so there you have the ninja zord and then of course you take the falcon zord or tommy zord fold its feet down and you can do it in various ways and stuff like you can close them you can leave them open um, and then you can also I think you can just leave them like this but I just like the term to the side to make sure they're out of the way and then whatever you do with the head or have it you just fold it straight up and then you turn around with these pegs on the back here you then just put them in the white um, spots back here and so you just push it in which I mean I understand since it's you know like over 20 years difference and stuff between the two but it'd be nice if you could put um, the original Zord here on it, but it looks like it'll just be held on by something on the wings here. So hopefully they don't just do the, um, there's the peg things in there too. Do like the old things, which I believe the Shogun Zord, which I hope they make that because that's the only original Zord I'm missing. Um, but it, the with the Shogun Zord, which like I said, I don't have, so I can't do a video on it. You fold the arms in like that, and then you put like the, um, the like chest and stuff around it goes in again i'm using this as an example but it's not it but then the arms and stuff would attach into like these spots and stuff and then those hang out the front of it as um, part of like the shogun zords combination thing which is really weird um but so i'm not exactly sure what they're going to be doing with the falcon zord um in the movie zord when it comes out here in a couple months but again there's just the the legacy falcon zord We'll set that aside as it doesn't matter much. And there we have the um, what I'm calling the movie or Ninja Zord. Um, or the movie version Ninja Zord because that's the one I prefer. Um, and again, it's my favorite Zord. I think it um, looks the best. And pretty much all these Zords that are going to be coming up in the next videos whenever I get to them. Because who knows how long it'll take me. Um, but the next Zords that are coming up are all my favorite Zords out of all the ones I have. So I really want to get to them and get through them and everything. Um, of course, then we'll probably really slow down since all the other Zords I find are more boring. But they're still cool to me. Um, but I have a lot to get through. I have three tubs full of Zords <laughs> to get through and everything. Um, but yeah, this is it for the Ninja Zord. Um, be sure to hit the um, like button if you enjoyed. Leave any comments you have down below. Subscribe to see more uh, My Morphin Collection videos than anything else. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Uh -huh.